Welcome to Lost and Found. Ah, <laughs> oh, the music is so chill. So welcome to Lost and Found. This is the thing where we play games we've owned for a while but never actually played. And this is yet another game I got off of the Humble Bundle. I'm not sure which bundle. Uh, this game is called Ellipsis. Um, I really don't know much of anything about this game. It seems to be some sort of minimalistic, neon lighty thing. Um, but that's kind of the point. So let's figure it out. Um, this game apparently doesn't have a main menu. This is actually the first thing that popped up when I launched the game. Um, I can control this with my mouse. That's kind of cool. Okay, what do we do here? I'm assuming click. Click? Yes. Clicking does things. Ooh. Neat. Okay. Pretty self-explanatory. Ooh. Okay. Ah, fair enough. So collect the orbs with the dots of them. That's pretty simple. Oh, I bet. Okay, I see. Avoid the things. Collect the things with the dots on them. And leave. Nice. This game seems very... very chill. I like the atmosphere. so I can leave before I get this one. Fair enough. I wonder what those triangles are. I wonder. Alrighty then, what is this? Explain yourself. I guess we'll just keep going. We will just keep going and see. Need to collect the triangles? Seems like something that should be avoided. Yeah, definitely something should be avoided. Fair enough. Why are they why are they changing colors though? Well. Alrighty. So far, it's not very difficult, but it uh, has kind of a relaxing vibe to it. I'm worried it might be a little loud, though. I might turn this down a little. Uh, let's take the game volume down just a little bit. All right. So we're making kind of a constellation thing here. Um... I'm kind of curious what this means. It overpowers me a little. Is it better now that I changed it? It should be. Um, I can always turn it down more. Oh, hello. Yeah, as in turn it down more, or yeah, as in it's good now. There we go. Nice, nice. Uh, hmm. Still pretty simple so far. It's really chill, though. It's kind of... 
you know, that the atmospheric spacey sounds. It's real flowy and relaxing. I'm wondering if this is just gonna get batshit insane after a while. Uh Alright, so these I can run into without hurting myself, but it won't let me go past them. So I gotta Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, we're now. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, so it's going to get hard. So I think the idea is you relax the first few levels. And then it's like, oh, by the way. Here you go. Oh, neat. Oh, I love the background. Oh, that activates that. Get out of my way, sir. Thank you. I like that it's mouse controlled. Um, I know, I know there's probably a controller option. Oh, this makes me... I have to work against this. So that'll be annoying later levels, I'm sure. Um, are we gonna get the extra fifth one? Yeah, why not? Take advantage of our ability to do so before it gets really hard. Everything is really... I was hoping... How you were playing? Oh. Yeah, it's mouse movement. I'm assuming that you could use a controller. Let's find out. Oh yes, you can use a controller. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. We'll try one with the controller. Oh, that exited the game. Interesting. Let's not use the controller. Alright. Oh yeah, that's way easier. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the controller would be good with this either. I just wanted to see if it would work. Uh, these kill me? No. Oops. Feels weird with the mouse though, because when you hit something that you can't go past, you're moving the mouse, but your uh, little dude's not moving, and then it resets where you have to put your hand on the table. It's kind of annoying. Alright. Okay. Hi. There's more movement. Now we're getting somewhere. Now, oh, I hit the triangle. All right. Let's go. Come on, I've been playing Cuphead. Give me some difficulty now. Come on. Come on. Oh, that looks scary already. Ooh. So much glow. Finally, I died. Yes, I did. That was actually the second death, but the first one was me trying to see if something was harmful or not. Deliberately. Ooh, those look like turrets or tanks. They seem to be infiltrating some sort of base. Hmm. Yes. Let's do it! Oh, these guys shoot at you. Cool. Achievement unlocked. Uh, not a word. Fair enough. Will this kill me? Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly how it went. Oh, there we go. Got a little bit of an AI here. Track the player. Attack the player. Oh. One for each of you. Here we go. So those were very clearly, yes, this will kill you. This thing with the angry, low-pitched roar, not roar, angry, low-pitched aura, hum, following you ominously, yes, that will hurt you. 
Apparently we have a... All right, let's go. Oh, this is, this is difficult. Okay, that's really uncomfortable with the mouse. Having to constantly fight against it, yeah. That's kind of neat. I hope there's a lot of levels because we seem to be moving really fast. I'm assuming there's a bunch of levels. Either that or I'll just make a career out of speedrunning this game. Nice. Faster. Faster shooting. Oh, wow! My bad. Oh, wow! My bad. <laughs> Can't just move the mouse willy-nilly now. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now this is pod racing. Oh! Best ten bucks you'll ever make? Yeah. There we go. Alright. Now we're getting interesting. I like it. Actually, now that uh, you mentioned money, I, I don't really know how much this is on Steam. Um, I'd be kind of interested to know, though. Oh. All right. Oh, uh, they move. Every time I collect one. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> it's not every time I collect one, it's on an interval. Okay. See if the pattern changed at all. Yeah. All right. Does mouse wheel do anything? Oh, it does. Okay. Ah, I see. What's this do? Okay. That's kind of a janky looking menu. Compared to how beautiful the rest of the game is, looks, this looks like something on like... <laughs> an off-brand tablet or something. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Not too bad, not too bad. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hi. That's a lot of angry gentlemen. Ooh. Please. I, I really want that fifth one. If you would. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right. Thing that would make this game harder is if that Metal Gear Solid alert sound happened every time one of those things started following you. I can't do it. You know the sound. I had that sound as my, uh... Oops. I had that sound as my text message sound for a while. Yeah, but it scared me too often. If you ever want an anxiety, set the Metal Gear Solid alert sound as your text message. Hehehe. <laughs> 
Yeah, that would be terrifying. Especially because you already have that Pavlovian response to it. <laughs> uh, being asleep and get it- yeah. But the codec sound in Metal Gear Solid is a good sound to use as your actual ringtone. Because, you know, it kind of sounds like a phone anyway. And I don't care what anybody says, I, I really hate using songs as ringtones. I do not like that. Even worse than using a song as a ringtone is using a song as an alarm clock. Like, what better way to ruin some of your favorite music by having it immediately associated with being awoken to go to work when you don't want to or to get a phone call because it's 2017 and nobody likes getting phone calls anymore for some reason. This one's surprisingly, uh... Default ringtones aren't as bad. I'm talking about, like, music you would normally listen to. Like an, a song by an artist, not just... Uh... The kind of generic cell phone ringtone thing. Oh, shit. This one carries your momentum as you go. Oh, neat. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright, we'll take that one without the fifth. Mainly because we just kind of ran into it, and also because I'm lazy. <laughs> Alright, here's something that I hate even more than songs as ringtones is those ring back tones that used to be a thing in like 2000, whatever it was, 2009, 2008, 2010. Uh, it's like, all right, I have to call somebody and then they're just like, hey, I don't care what kind of music you like, listen to this song. And it was always like really poor quality through your cell phone speaker blasting in your ear. It's like, get out of here. I don't wanna hear that shit. The only thing worse than that song is your stupid voice on the other end. <laughs> your ringback gets lost, it defaults to classical music. I'm actually for that. I don't know why. I know I just shit back. I just shit. Wow, shit back. I just shit talked the uh, ringback tone thing, but I'm talking and not playing. But defaulting to classical music, I mean, that's kind of like... When you get put on hold anyway, or like, in an elevator. Plus, classical music is just rad. So this is actually pretty cool. I like this. Yeah, this is way harder. I need that orb, sir. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I almost had it. We almost had it. Some of these it's easier if you just go really fast, it seems like. Oh yeah, we got that fifth one. Whee! All right, so far, uh, we're like 20 minutes into this. I'm not bored yet. I'm having a decent time. No, it's not the best game I've ever played, but this is this is pretty cool. I like it. Oh. Whoa, okay. Wow. So, one thought is that based on the mouse controls, um, oh, it got choppy. Hopefully that's not me. Hopefully that's your connection. I don't see any dropped frames. Um, so with the mouse control, my first thought is, or my first impulsive thought is that this would be a cool, like, mobile game. But then my second thought, the more logical one, 
is like, well, your finger's in the way. This would be a terrible mobile game. I need that orb. There we go. Maybe with a stylus, but who uses a stylus? Come on. Something like this could be cool in a mobile game, though, if you just scaled it to where everything was bigger so that your finger being in the way of the screen wouldn't obstruct your view. I don't know how well it would play, but... Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, I see what you're doing. I see this. Oh! Get out of here. There we go. Eighty-seven stars. Oh, we have a choice now. Okay. Well, obviously this one seems more dangerous, so let's do it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Those are more dangerous than I thought they would be. Holy crap. Once again, some of these are easier if you just go really fast before all the stuff starts happening. Also, we're starting to get branching paths here. I wonder... I wonder what the purpose is of that. It's like we're going across a minefield. Um... So let's do... let's do this one. I'm curious about these paths. It's interesting. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was safe in that corner. Alright. Oh! Whoops. Okay, so I have to be more patient. Uh, this one's getting interesting. So, realistically... Ooh, okay. I could just do this. We can go real cheap with it. <laughs> we can cheese the hell out of this level. We have the technology. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that cakewalk. Oh, it's so easy. <laughs> oh, gotta go. All right. Thanks for stopping in, man. That was a cheap one. That was <laughs> that was uh that was kind of a slimy way to get through it. But whatever, you know. Cheap bastard. Hey, if they didn't want me to do that, they would have made it impossible to do that. They could have easily made them respawn after they explode. Oh hi. Ooh, close. All right. Oh, that's interesting. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh. That's kind of rude. I need my orbs. Please give me my orbs. Whoa! Oh, damn. Ah. Uh. Gotta go fast. Oh, not so much. This 
It starts to get really visually distracting after a while. It's just too much stuff. Too many glowy, shiny things. I actually didn't even mean to get that one. I'm just trying to, like, figure this out in my head. Alright. <laughs> there gets to be so much going on, it's kind of disorienting. What? Oh, wow. That one is very aggressive. Holy shit. Give me my orbs, please. I don't know what the significance is of recording- or uh, collecting all of those. I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm guessing you don't get the star if you don't get the orbs and the container thing. So one thing I noticed about this game too, um, each level is very short, and there seem to be a lot of them. So this is definitely one of those games where, oh no, I've only got 10 minutes to play video games, I want to play something real quick in between doing this and this, or, you know, you don't have to do any time commitment at all to play this game. You can just jump in, play level, whatever, play two, till you get tired of it, or until you have to do something else. So that's one thing I do like about this, actually. Very easy to get into that, okay, one more level effect, because everything is so short and quick. And it seems like they're introducing new enemies, obstacles, whatever. Uh, they're introducing them at a rate that keeps things interesting. I haven't been bored yet at all, or it hasn't, feel, it hasn't felt too samey, you know? I wonder what this is all about. Um, so pacing seems to be good, as far as I can tell. I'm no expert, though. This is kind of cool how they have this. With limited view. That's kind of neat. I don't think I've ever played a game that's simultaneously a chill-out game, a relax game, you know, mixed with like heavily, you know, heavy, heavily concentrate and move within this narrow window. And it's not like Super Meat Boy level of, you know, crazy difficulty, but, you know, it might get to that point later on, I'm sure. I also kind of like their usage of shapes in a way that's, you know, this is like a, an attack battleship thing made up of all the little shapes that have already been in the game. Oh, damn. I knew that was going to shoot there, too. Like, they create these, not characters, but little entities using the shapes used elsewhere in the game. Kind of cool. Very minimalist, for sure. Which I, I'm kind of a fan of. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. Oh, that was also very stupid. Oh, I can tell, yeah. I keep forgetting I can touch the edges of these without any worries. I've been being all careful. You could just... <laughs> Get that out of the way. Not interested. Please. Please rotate. Please hurry. Oh, of course. 
Ah. number five. Oh, here it comes. Do I want to bother? Yeah, might as well. This isn't too difficult. Let's go. Nice. More branching paths. <laughs> oh. These guys are interesting. I love when sound effects create notes in games. Hear how... And it doesn't add... It's not super musical. Like, it doesn't have necessarily a rhythm and a melody to it. But it still adds to the soundtrack. It's still kind of... I don't know. It's just kind of neat when games do that. Alright, 128 stars so far. Not too shabby. So I, would, I do want to know how many levels are in this game. Eric called me cheap for doing this earlier, but I think it's more or less how they expect you to play it. Where's my number five? There it is. Ah. Making me work for it. Some concentration. Intimidating. All right. Those are going to shoot the following. Oh, yeah. I didn't get the fifth one. start rotating. <laughs> oh. Lazy. I don't know if I really want to do that. That's fine. You know what? We're still progressing. And look how many levels we've done so far. These are so quick. Makes me think there's like a thousand levels in this game or something. Holy 
Holy shit. Oh, sir! That was so rude. Ah, uh, I need to go slower through there. I have a feeling it's going to get difficult to the point where I just want to not even bother with that last one. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> that actually built up a little bit of anxiety. Does he follow me indefinitely? Oh, hi. Hello, laser. Oh. Alright, can't go too fast now. So close. I barely touched him. Oh, I keep doing that. I forget about that one. Oh. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, let's get out of here. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. 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 Achievement unlocked. There we go. There we go. Oh. More musical elements that are sound effects. Oops. Please let me through. Please. Oh. Oh, neat. Oh, there we go. Nice. We got them all that time. I don't like this. This is, uh... Oh. What? Really? Okay. Huh. I thought I missed my opportunity to get the first one or something. Oh, I don't like- I don't like it! <laughs> get me out of here! Get me out of here! So one thing I appreciate about this game, I don't have to use the keyboard at all. Just click. Just point and click. Move your mouse around. And you only have to click a couple times. Super easy. No problems. This is... troublesome. There we go. Those guys are... These guys are mean. They're trying to kill me. Hmm. 
They don't know I'm here. Now they do. Oh. <laughs> All right. That was just starting to get out of hand. This way. Oh, hi. Good evening. How are you? Whew. Yes. Rule of thumb do the level fast when you can, but then sometimes don't. Excuse me. That was too much. Alright, where's number four? Oh. It's kind of a boss fight. Yeah, we killed you. Killed your armor. This is kind of a nifty way to include like a boss fight in it. Destroy this thing before the other ones will spawn. Look at those nice reflection. Those blurry, glowy reflections. Those look really good. I like that. Another achievement. All right, now we're getting way out here. How's the progress looking? Nice. We're approaching this... This stuff. I don't know what that is. See up here, I noticed? Kind of neat. This glowy pink. These were the levels that had... That you couldn't see everything because of the fog, the pink fog. So you can only see stuff when you get closer. It's kind of integrated on this world map, so that's kind of cool. So I'm wondering what this stuff is. I'm sure that's some kind of twist on the mechanics of the level. But let's find out. Oh, okay. So what does this mean? I don't understand. get so close. This is weird. Does this... What is this? That wasn't anything? Oh, it's a car. It's supposed to be a car. With the headlight, maybe? That's kind of what it looks like. I was wondering what that was. Hey, what's up, soul? Mr. Dark Soul Invader. We're playing Ellipsis. This is like a really... Pretty, minimalist, artsy... There's not been a single word of dialogue. There's not been a single... I don't know, it's kind of cool. A lot of little levels. It's controlled with the mouse. Um... It's basically, I just, you move around avoiding things and you have to collect the little orbs. Pretty simple. Uh, actually not bad. Um, I'm not bored yet. I don't really know what the mechanic is on this level though, because normally these, you get close to them and then they start to explode. You have to get out of the way. Um, I guess these levels, everything's frozen and you just have to be really careful. That's really tight. Yeah. That's what she said. Um, 
that's, that's a very small window to get through. That's interesting. Alright. That would be a nightmare with the controller. Oh, I am not paying attention. What if you used a pen and tablet? That'd be kind of interesting. There's always the optional fifth one. How the hell am I supposed to get that? How am I supposed to do that? Excuse me. Oops. Oh, weird. So right click is leave game. Good to know. Yeah, I wonder how this would go with a pen and a tablet. Uh, the only thing is, is the the head of the pen would be smaller, smaller than your uh, character there. But still. I have no idea how to get that little five dot thing up there. So, since you just jumped in, uh, I just got into this new area um, with all this stuff, this glowy stuff. I don't really know. The most of the levels, there's a bunch of moving stuff. Like a lot of moving things. Like this, but more so. Yeah, these have been really easy over here. I don't know why. The difficulty curve went very, very gradually, slowly up. And then on these levels, it seems to have gone down a lot. So we'll see what this is. Do you unlock abilities or something? I don't know. I don't know anything about abilities. This guy is angry. There might have been a way for me to blow up one of those things without dying, I don't know. I know in previous levels it was a mechanic. If you get close enough, it'll start to charge up and then it explodes in a radius. So you could get close and then leave and they would explode and then they'd be out of your way. Uh, I don't know about that one because this, uh, this, these stages kind of, it seems like they've frozen some of those things. So I don't know why, but these levels are much easier than before. Yes. Oh, hi. Gimme. Gimme. Oh, here we go. Where's number five? Should we go for it? Yeah, we should go. Oh, see, there they go. That's usually how they work. I don't know why they worked on that one. Not on previous ones, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Almost to 200 stars. Oh, well, that was rude. I didn't know they did that. It's moving so slowly towards me, like a 80s thrash, 80s slasher film, villain, killer, slasher. See, those things didn't do the thing. Maybe those are different. Oh, got it last minute. That is mean. I'm just trying to leave. Here we go. Nice. 
Nice, super hexagon! That's what it reminds me of. Oh. Stars, you suck. Oh, this is getting weird. Not a fan. Oh, oh, I see. It's alternating. Ah. these guys up here out of the way. I don't really care about that one. Sometimes I feel like getting that fifth one and sometimes I'm just too lazy. I'm like, ah, that looks difficult. I don't want to do the level over again. Let's just go on. Let's just move on. small window. That was dumb. Boop. Boop. Sir. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, this one is more difficult for sure. I move this stuff with the mouse, Josh. I see you there. Hello, Josh. Um, you move with the mouse and you just collect these things without dying. And there are multiple enemies and things. Oh, I missed my window. This is bad. Sir. Sir. Sir, please. If you could... Alright, let's just leave. <laughs> I don't need the last one. I don't need it. I don't need it. So, Josh, we're actually pretty far. This is all the levels we've done. Um... I will say some of these were harder, and then it got really easy, and now it's getting harder again. So I don't really know why. Kind of an odd difficulty curve. But, yeah, all the levels are very quick. Uh, that's something I like about it. And, um, Adam's too good confirmed. <laughs> I haven't been great. I've, I've had some dumb deaths for sure. It's different though, like trying to play this with a controller would be an absolute nightmare. But with the mouse, I mean, you can move however you want. Very quickly and easily. <laughs> sir, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop. There we go. You want to see this on a tablet? Yeah, I think it could be cool on a tablet. It would be hard to play with your finger because your finger would kind of obstruct your own view. But with like a stylus or something, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, yeah, you hate to see it. Oh, what was that? Where did that come from? Oh, these guys. 
rude. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's always that frantic last minute where you're just trying to get to the thing like, no, no, I don't care about the fifth one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here before we die. S Pen on a phone. I've never used an S Pen. I, I mean, it's just a little styl stylus, but yeah, that could work. Oh, yep, yeah, that that's the button that makes you die. There it is right there. Yep, that one too. This guy is very mean. <laughs> Die, please. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'll get that last one. Oh, just in time. Oh, shit's still going. This stuff get crazy? Um, <laughs> yeah, we're out. Fuck it, we gone! <laughs> no kidding, that's exactly what it's like. Yeah, um, actually, Eric, it got kind of easy through here. For some reason, it got really easy. And now it's getting harder again. So, I don't know. Interesting. Oh, this is weird. When I move. Oh, that's trippy. This is some... This is bringing me back to Braid. The whole time moves backwards when you move forward, or time moves, whatever, how it works. Time moves when you move. That's the words I was looking for. Oh. Okay, so different stages have been having these different overarching themes. This one, obviously, the shit happens when you move. That is interesting. They've been doing a really good job, I've noticed. They keep adding things. Things have been added gradually throughout this whole thing, and things keep changing at just the right rate that I don't get bored of it. So, as soon as you start to use a mechanic, and then they add an enemy, and then they add an enemy, and then it gets hard, and then you get through this thing, and then there's like kind of a boss battle-ish thing, and then you move on to the next area, and there seems to be a different sort of theme to the way the levels are laid out. Uh, it definitely seems like they did put some thought into this. It's not just, oh, let's make a bunch of random levels that get increasingly harder. Like, there's actually a bit of a progression like naturally through it. It's pretty cool. Not bad. There we go. Figure out the branching. Uh, kind of seems like you're building a world. Yeah. Each time you get through it, it reveals something. So we started up here. Uh, we started up here. We moved on to that. Moved down here. Then you get into this facility guarded by tanks and turrets and stuff. And then we went up in this direction. Through the minefield. Through the weird pink cloud stuff. And we went down into this other little facility. I believe there was a boss battle here. And then all these crashed cars for some reason, whatever that means. Yeah, it's kind of neat. So there was, you know, there's another path up here. Maybe that leads into here somewhere, I don't know. But yeah. Oh, that is... Okay, I have to keep changing my direction of movement because those will eventually go directly to me. All right, let's do this one fast. All right, that didn't work. <laughs> it was a good try there. Oh, this is actually maybe doable this way. Ah, uh, all right, let's try slow. Uh, 
Ah. Totally doable. Let's do it. Oh, it's right down there. I need to remember to move up more. Ah, oh, close. That's actually really fun this way. Ah. <laughs> Alright, this is getting crazy. Yeah, stuck going straight. Yeah. Ah, I was trying to get too wobbly with that one. Whoa. Getting antsy. Oh, I accidentally clicked the... I accidentally clicked the sensitivity option on my mouse. There we go. <laughs> oh, damn it. Go full wobble. I'll just go really slow. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Nice. There we are. This is good. There seems to be an adversary at the end of the hole. Oh, uh, yes. Hello. Oh, he's fast. But he can only turn so fast. I won't risk it. Let's just go. <laughs> that wasn't very smart. That's what you want, Dark Soul. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Full speed run style. All right, that didn't work. Full speed run style. All right, that didn't work either. We're not doing this. This is absurd. Poo. Poo. Wonder how much we can cheese it. Super cheese. Oh yeah, so tough. Look at me, I'm such a badass. The game's too easy. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to granny the level.
Oh. That cone of view brings back memories. What was that? Yeah. Oh, it didn't make the Metal Gear Solid sound. Come on. Whee! Oh, that guy's not very nice. Oh no! I knew that would happen. Alright. Speedrun for this was 15 minutes? <laughs> what? <laughs> we have to be stealthy about it, huh? Easy. 15 minutes through the whole game? That's awesome. We've done how many stages so far? Oh, this is interesting. That looks incredibly dangerous. Ah. Uh, just kidding. You can't play with my emotions like that. This isn't looking good. Oh, that was dumb. I shouldn't have got hit by that. Oh, definitely should not have got hit by that stationary object. We have gotten a lot done. Hell of a lot done, actually. At least it seems that way. So we'll, we'll go through a couple more. I'm kind of reaching my end point for the stream, but we'll do a few more. Yes. I don't, I don't like it, sir. There we go. All right. I don't like you, sir. You're shooting at me and being aggressive. Let's go over here. Oh, let's play this one stealthy. They don't know I'm here. Oh, he knows I'm here. Okay. I really hated the sound those little ones made. It, uh, gets you in your ears. I like this game could be pretty big. Yeah. I'm starting to think the levels never end. So what's the mechanic with these little guys? We get scared and run away? Little bitches. Huh. It's kind of easy. Suspiciously easy. Speedrun has a 16 minute, 25 second run. I wonder if there's a particular path. A particular path that leads closest to the end. Alright, so the no fucks given approach isn't very good for this level. Fair enough. Oh, I thought I was skinny enough. I'm so stealthy. Please don't look at this way. I am very stupid. Didn't go well. Didn't go well. Uh... 
Here we go. Got it. Probably includes being a beast. Yeah, 16 minutes, 25 seconds. You'd have to be a beast. Let's see what's in this room. Probably includes a South Korean player with reflexes that seem inhuman. <laughs> Bro, have you even played StarCraft? Oh. Well, that got out of hand really fast. That was unfortunate. Also unfortunate. That is so rude. No. This one is tough. Alright. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so they don't care about me now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Can I? No, I can't. Ugh! The cone is misleading! They can see past the cone! It's like you can't lose them once they lock on. Yeah, I know. This one's rough. Let's go back to the world. Does this bring me? Okay, this brings me back. Maybe we'll try going this way. Oh, vehicles. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Whoops. There. There. You has driving rules. <laughs> yeah. If you have a trailer, each one must contain a bomb. Nope. Not gonna worry about that one. Branches off everywhere. Wow. I wonder how much map this will fill up. Huh. Alright, so I should probably cut it off here. Um, it's getting kind of late for me. I do have to work early mornings, so. Oh, but this game was cool. I actually did like this game, uh, Ellipsis. Um, I kind of went into this not expecting much, just, you know, something kind of interesting. I'm not going to say that I love this game. Uh, I don't know if I'll continue playing it or not, but I will say that th what I did play today, I did enjoy. I actually had a good time playing this. Um, it's got a decent difficulty curve. It's got enough variety to keep you interested. Um, I don't know how much it is on Steam, so I can't really speak of the whole dollar versus... You know, is this game worth it or not? Which I'm, you know, I don't really like those discussions that much anyway because it's all just so subjective. But, anyways, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, we do this thing every Wednesday. Uh, we stream it on Twitch and then we upload to YouTube later. Lost and Found. Uh, we also have a podcast every um, Saturday night, 9 p.m. EST. Uh, Twitch.tv slash 72 Pin Connector. And you can tweet at us at 72PC Podcast. So. Until next time, game on.